Hello, Lost People. It's Dave with Lost Farms Homestead. Uh, we're up here on the property again. Um, it's uh, Friday night. Um, we're going to stay here tonight and get up in the morning and go do some work. We're going to be doing some roof framing in the morning. Hey, John here with me. Say hi, John. Come on, say hi. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> John's cold. <laughs> It's pretty cold out here. It's probably about 32 right now. Last time we looked at it, it was about 32 and temperatures dropping. It's pretty cold, I'd say. So, but I got some lumber. I don't know if you can see it. I got some lumber in the back of the truck and we got some more at the container. And uh, when we get up in the morning, we're gonna go get that stuff out there and start laying it out and pulling tape and we're gonna do some framing. So stick around and we'll see you in the morning. Thanks. Morning Lost People, it's Dave with Lost Farms Homestead, it is Sunday morning, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's Saturday morning, a little bit tired, very cold, I think this was probably the coldest night that we've spent out here, it was like 11 degrees when I got up this morning, um, by the time I got to the truck to get the measure it was 12, but yeah it's very cold. I apologize for the sniffing. I, it's, I can't help it. It's cold. My, my nose is running. So there's going to be a little bit of that. So I apologize. But I'm setting up coffee right now. So I'm going to get me a cup of coffee. I'm running uh, just black this morning again. Oh man. Hang on a second. I got my thing is twisted here okay there we go so just black uh, black rifle coffee delicious coffee if you've never tried it you should I recommend it it's very good uh, just go to blackriflecoffee.com and they got their whole selection on there and it's pretty inexpensive considering I mean it's comparative to like Starbucks or one of the you know more expensive it's not going to be the eight dollar can that you can get for you know uban or folders or something like that but it's worth the extra money to buy it it's good coffee oh excuse me good lord that's not good so uh, sorry so we're up here this morning uh john's in in the rv still sleeping oh. And uh, we're going to get up this morning and we're going to do some framing out on the uh, the bag house. We're going to start framing the roof. I want to do the uh, that interior wall and then the angles that go up through the on the sides. 
and then I got some lumber in the back. I got some two by sixes. We're going to run a two by six support half, you know, like mid span across the top of the interior and then support it at the, the corners with the, the angle framing that we're going to put in there. Sorry, hang on a minute. Oh, oh, delicious. Mm. Oh, that's good. So if slurping bothers you also, I apologize <laughs> for the slurping as well. Oh, oh man, that's good. It is very cold this morning. I think this is probably one of the coldest nights that we've been out here. I mean, this is ridiculous right now, and it's it's freaking March. How is it this cold in March? We were up here in December, we were up here in January, and we were up here in February, and it was not this cold. I mean, it was cold, but this is, wow, I'm, I'm very surprised. Maybe it's just one of those cold snaps or whatever they call those things. <laughs> it's an odd name for a, a section of cold, I guess. I don't know what you call it. I guess you call it a snap. <laughs> oh, that's good coffee. Uh, so, what a world we live in today, huh? Holy gas prices. We're almost $5 a gallon in, uh, in Phoenix. And that ain't no good. That's way too high. Uh, way too high. So before all of this happened, I went to the Harbor Freight and picked up a couple of five-gallon fuel containers. Oh, excuse me. Five-gallon fuel containers, and I got five gallons, so I have ten gallons of gas. Oh, excuse me. Wow. I have ten gallons of gas sitting in my garage right now with a stabilizer in it just in case, you know, it gets real bad. I mean, if nothing else, it'll, you know... Uh, give me a little bit that I won't have to pay for or pay as much for because it's already paid for but yeah the purpose of that when I did it was for an emergency because I saw this Russia conflict coming with Ukraine and I wasn't sure how uh, excuse me good lord I wasn't sure how the US was going to respond to that and I wanted to make sure that if one of our vehicles was a little bit low on gas that we had enough to get to the property if that was what we needed to do. I mean, of course, always our first option is to stay at the house. I mean, everything that we have is there, you know, but if things got really bad and the power went out or the water stopped running or something bad like that, you know, or if it started getting violent, you know, because when things like that happen, people get stupid. So... But in case of something like that, you know, which didn't happen, thank God, because that would have been horrible. Very unprepared for that. I mean, the house is halfway built. I mean, it would have been really bad trying to stay up here, especially in this cold. So, yeah, so always your first choice is going to be to stay at home. I mean, if you have a secondary location or a third location, it's always a good thing in case you need to do it, but... Don't do it unless you have to, you know, and I mean, this whole thing, this was really nothing as far as, you know, needing to do anything. The only thing that really changed was um, gas prices and maybe some food prices went up, but they were already going up anyways. So I'm happy to say there wasn't really much of a change over that because that could have been, that could have been a lot worse. And, you know, with uh, Mr. Brandon in office, you never know what could happen, so. Anyways, I'm off on a tangent. So, uh, <clears throat> I got the fire going. It's a little one right now. I'm going to get some more wood on it over here. I got another piece down here for it. We're going to stoke that up a little bit, grab the grill, and put some uh, breakfast on there. I got some uh, uh, breakfast sandwiches that I wrapped in tin foil. And some burrito type of things to go with it. It's like a biscuit burrito thing. So I got some. Holy. Oh, everything's frozen together. <laughs> Can't open it. Oh, okay. Hopefully these aren't frozen because 
that would suck. But yeah, so these are the the breakfast foils right here. So I got them all wrapped up. So we're gonna throw those on the grill and get them heated up so we can eat. And then we'll take some time for the scriptures. So get in a couple of chapters. So I'm pretty far in. I'm in. Uh, I'm all the way to uh, Jeremiah right now. This is my second read through, and I'm on Jeremiah right now. And John, he's just starting his first read through. So we're going to be in. Uh, I think we're still in Genesis right now. So we're going to be reading in Genesis this morning. So, but we'll get him caught up. So it'll be good. So we're going to take some right some time. Excuse me. I need coffee. Coffee. Uh, so we're going to take some time in the scripture this morning and warm up some breakfast. And when we get breakfast in us and get some stuff taken care of, we'll wrap this up and get over to the work site. So stick around. Thanks for watching. So we're here out at the work site right now. I got the lumber set up over here. So we got some uh, 12 foot two by six. There's some 10 and 12 two by fours right there. And uh, a couple more over here. We got some fasteners and we got all the level and everything, all the gear over here. And then this is for the bags. We got some more bags. We're gonna uh, come in here and uh, we're gonna do one more row of bags across the top of this wall because I came out here last time and I took a measurement and it was four feet from the top of this to the bottom of that right there. And uh, that's four feet, but our slope is gonna go from this point up to, oh, sorry, the sun's right there, up to the top and it's gonna slope up. So if I'm four feet there, it's going to cut into this one because this one's going to be a little bit taller. So, oh, do you see that? Anybody see that? Nice try. I'll get you later. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we're going to put one more row on the top of here. And then we'll put our top plates on and then build it up. And then we're going to build in the uh, supports right there and run it straight across. And then the two by sixes we're going to run across here. I'm going to put them over here. They're gonna go across wherever the wall tops out here. I'm gonna put them right across and go all the way end to end for an intermediate support here. So, um, so the goal today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one row to the top of the bag wall and then we're gonna frame the inside wall and then we're gonna frame the two corners right there and then put the support all the way across. So that's the goal for today. If we can get that in, then I can start getting the lumber for the rafters. And then after that, it's sheeting and then uh, the roof. So, all right, so we're gonna get this thing going. I'm gonna set up over here and uh, we're gonna get on it. So stick around, thanks. That's how sturdy these bags are. Look at that. I tried to stick that in there and it wouldn't go, so I tried to pound it with a hammer. No, sir, not happening. <laughs> All right, I'll figure it out.
So, John can't count to 13. <laughs> so, I'm gonna string a few while he's catching up. <laughs> Perfect.
got this wall built up a couple of extra rows here all the way around and uh, we got this wall put up with the main support going all the way across this is the uh, double two by six uh, mid span support that I was talking about it's kind of more this way than that but I wanted it to be on top of this wall so that this is supported and the only actual on top of this wall so that this is supported for the roof and the only span is going to be these here from this side going across and then on the other side over there going across right there so so it's got support through here and then we're just spanning this and it's a double two by six so I think that'll be pretty good and we got it tied into the laterals right here at each point right there it's tied into the laterals on either side here so that it keeps it nice and straight so um, I think that as far as this we're gonna be done for the day I had hoped to get these two side walls framed but I didn't think we were gonna be doing this much bag work but we had to in order to bring it up because it was a choice of adding one more bag or having a ton of drop from our 2x4s because I had a bunch of 8 foot 2x4s and since we brought them up we were able to cut them in half and use one half on each one rather than cutting a little over half and then not having enough and just having that whole piece left over as drop. So we did it that way to save on lumber because like I said before we have bags and dirt and the lumber is what's expensive so that's the choice we made there and it took a little bit more time but we got it done so um, I'm gonna straighten out this one on the end here and make sure we're even all the way across and then we're gonna um, toe nail those ones into the lintels uh, below so that we can you know so that those are set and then uh, when we come back we'll finish these two side walls and then the side walls over there and we'll take care of all of that so, but I think before we leave, before we start cleaning up and leaving, I think we're going to attempt to straighten out a wall. I got uh, some idea, I got an idea for some straps back here. We're going to run some of these zip tie straps around some of the bags and then try to tie them together and pull them with a uh, cable winch and see if we can get them to, you know, squeeze in a little bit because they're kind of puffing out a little bit and it's a bit unnerving, so... We're going to try and straighten that out and see how that works. So um, I'm going to set up the camera and uh, we'll, we'll try to straighten these out a little bit and see how that works. And then uh, we'll go from there. So stick around. Thanks. So we are finished for the day. Uh, didn't get as much as I would have liked to have gotten done. Kind of set the goal a little bit high. I have a tendency to do that. But I mean, you know, you set your goals high and if you hit it, awesome. If not, a little bit more to hit next time. So that works for me. So uh, let's see, where are we at? Okay, this wall right here. So we got the one wall done. And we got the beam across the top. That was kind of a big deal. Um, most of the time was take took up was getting this up all the way up. That took a bit more time than I had expected and kind of cut out of the rest of it. But over here, you can see we got to build the angle across here to go in there. And we'll, we'll have to build it around all of that stuff. But we'll get it built in there. And then we have to build this wall here that's going to close this off right here and that's going to have the slope in the top of it and we're going to take down the the top of the bottle wall framing right there and uh, we're going to update that do something different with it and we're going to build a wall right here in between this wall and the door frame so we're going to build it in right there and take the slope up so we'll put the actual slope in there and we're going to cut the top off of that right there. I wasn't sure how high it was going to be. 
uh, when we originally put it in there, I wasn't sure how high it was going to be. And um, I just wanted to have the door there. So I just framed it up and figured we would just take it down and, and adjust it as required whenever we got to this point. So, and then over here on this side, I'm going to build up this one here and build it across for the angle right there. And uh, once we get that done, uh, and then this framing over here, once we get all of that done, then we'll be ready to start putting up rafters. So uh, um, that's going to take a bit of material, and I might need a little time to get that all together. So I'm thinking in the meantime, probably we'll start doing the stucco on the outside and get that going because I've got plenty of concrete here. So I'm thinking we can do that. Also, I believe Hope and True are going to come up with me next weekend because John's going to be doing the Ren Fair. So um, I believe they're going to come next weekend and we're going to be doing stucco work, and possibly some bottle work. Most likely it's just going to be stucco work because we need to get these covered for the UV. So um, another thing that we did while we were here is we did this strap thing right here. And we used a one of the zip ties, the hurricane ties, and attached it to some uh, strapping here. These are toe straps and a cable winch. And we ratcheted that a bit because we had this wall was leaning out a little bit and this one was leaning pretty far actually but it pulled it in pretty good I think it looks pretty good actually so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that and let it sit um, for while we're gone for the whole week and we're thinking hopefully it'll kind of meld itself together in that shape and not try to lean out when we get back here see you can see how, how much better it looks than it did. We had quite a bulge going on there before, so. And it's it's sucked in a little bit. So, but we're thinking, what we're thinking is when we get back, we're gonna take that down. We'll brace this side up, take that down, and then tighten it up a little bit, and we're gonna try and pull the center of the wall instead of the top of the wall, and see if we can get it to pull nice. And hopefully we can get it to straighten up a little bit, and then uh, we'll brace it all up. But once we put the rafters on there, that should tie it in so that it doesn't move around anymore. And we shouldn't have any more problems with it after that. So that's my thinking on it. So anyways, all right, so that's where we're at for right now. Let me step out here. I'll get you a good view of what we're looking at. So this is what we're looking at. It's kind of the same as last time, except the inside has framing. You can't really see it from here. Let me go this way. So this is where we're at, and we got some framing on the inside, and a higher wall, and it's looking pretty good. So, all right, um, I'm going to get us out of here, and uh, we'll be back next weekend. So like and subscribe. Uh, see you next week. Thanks for watching.